What's up everybody? Dan here with Dan and Sarah Makers and today we are going to work on a project where we make a dust mask or more. Uh, <laughs> as, as you may know currently there's a bit of a shortage and quite a demand for dust masks um, maybe more than just a dust mask the N95 or P100 type of mask so whether you find yourself at home with a lot of extra time and you want to work on some cleaning or woodworking projects or something like that where a dust mask or a filtration mask would be good or you happen to want to wear one out in public, we are going to show you our version of a mask made with rated filtration components. Now keep in mind this is at your own risk. There's no scientific testing behind this but we're using components that should have good ratings and you can use your discretion as how you want to utilize these. So, at this point, I would say if you are using something with a filtration rating, it's going to be better than um, like just a cotton yeah. knit t shirt fabric. Yeah. So, but that's all we're saying, nothing else. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, this particular mask that we're doing is a duckbill style, so it lays flat and then it opens up. We made a pattern out of paper and it goes over your face like so. We're not going to be using that one for quack, when we quack. make it. <laughs> but that kind of gives you an idea of the style. We are going to actually use a vacuum cleaner bag and these are HEPA rated so um, it's designed to keep particles from blowing out into your house when you use it as a vacuum cleaner but it could also keep particles from going into your lungs when you breathe through it. So these are rated at 99.9% .9 dust particle containment. I couldn't find the actual micron size, but if it's a HEPA, HEPA filter, it should be 99.997, I believe, is the rating. So that's the equivalent of a P100 mask that 3M puts out. So. Okay. And this is a, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, Mila? Meal or Mila? Mila. Yeah. So I believe this is a Mila is how you pronounce it, um, HEPA filtration bag for cat and dog vacuum cleaners. <laughs> um, so allergy um, awareness there. And we have a pattern made from an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So hopefully this makes it really easy for you to reproduce this shape. There's a one inch strip at the top, just mark it, that's for your elastic. And then if you mark a little notch on either side of your paper at a 10 inch distance, one side to the other, and then four inches up, and then create this kind of shape, kind of like, I don't know, a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the top is right at about three inches straight across. So that's where you will affix your heat welded section. So that just gives you kind of an idea, and these include the seam allowance, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. <laughs> so we'll dissect this bag, we'll utilize as much material as we can. Different bags, different manufacturers are going to be put together differently, so just keep that in mind as you chop it apart. So I am separating the top and the bottom sections putting a little snip here just to open it up and then once I have made an incision <laughs> um, into the bag then I'm going to carefully cut this pleat out
So if you look inside, there's a lot of just, it looks like fluff for like a pillow or quilting fabric. And then there's this layer, this really fine layer, it feels kind of like interfacing right here. And then the outside part that feels a lot like those bags you get at conferences. For now, let's just do the one, but you could certainly try and fit more on here. So we're going to just mark this. Go ahead and cut it out. It looks like a diaper. <laughs> it looks like a small <laughs> diaper. <laughs> A diaper for your face. Sneaker, sneaker. Everybody has that pair of underwear that they'd rather not know that they still have in the drawer. So we're getting rid of that pair of underwear. Grab your pattern and cut two pieces that are 11 inches long. So this is going to crush somebody's head if it's that thick, borrowing the words from Dan. We're going to have a headache after like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it for a second. You're right. Okay, let's try this again. That feels a little more... I don't know. <laughs> this is why you want to cut them. Yeah, this is the part that they don't show you in the videos online. When you cut, when you cut elastic down the center, and then you try and pull on it, it pops apart. Okay, get rid of all the extra little pieces. So that seems a little more. Reasonable. Just be aware that if you slice elastic down the center, you're going to get a lot of floofy stuff that just like pops right off. <laughs> okay. So these look like they need to be just slightly over a quarter inch, or they're going to be too heavy duty and give you a headache while you're wearing your mask. I would say don't try this at home, we're professionals, but... <laughs> Alright, now I think we're... Oh, there's another one. Okay, now I think we're even. Yep, okay. Next time you do this, wear a mask so you don't breathe all the fuzz in. <laughs> okay, now take both of these and put them in the fold there. Go ahead and use a clip if you have one. You could also use like a... <laughs> you could also use this. We're going to go ahead and sew these now. The less you puncture it, the better, so that's why we're using clips, not pins. So I'm just going back without snipping my threads, just retracing just a little bit further in. are real pipe cleaners that Dan has for 
whatever pipe cleaning needs to be done. But um, some of you might have like the um, craft pipe cleaner, which comes in strips that are about a foot long. And so you just fold one of those in half so you have enough strength to shape it to your nose. And I'm going to use a chunk of the vacuum cleaner bag to cover up the pipe cleaner once it's been glued onto the mask. So I want to fully encase it with this stuff. So I'll just trim it to length later. So I have my glue gun here. It's starting to heat up. And I'm just going to use my leftover pattern piece underneath this. Try and make these as, as straight as possible. And then they have a little kink in them. That again. There we go. Getting closer. Okay. So I'm going to try and put a little strip of glue. not to burn myself. Okay. Try not to glue it to the paper either. Now that it's on there, I can trim this to length, and I'm going to set it inside, trim this just a little bit more so it's even. So I'm going to put another layer of glue on here, and I'm just going to set it inside the mask. And you don't want to put in there immediately because you don't want it to like melt through everything, but just like a second and it's probably plenty. <laughs> Can you help me with that? Thank you. There we go. So don't bend it, don't try it on, unless you need, you're need. you the one who needs to use this thing. <laughs> but there, it's all encased, and it's got that same soft fabric that would go up against your nose, and you can form it to fit your face. Thanks for watching, Dan and Sarah Makers. We hope our videos <laughs> inspire you to... <laughs> Stay in there oh. and do something. Our slogan doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. Not right now. So mm. hopefully you find this informative. Hopefully these will help some people. It's just a, another take on a lot of different ideas on how to make these things. So. And there will maybe be a link coming out so you can download the 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, print it out, and have your own pattern. Ta -da! Awesome. So you so, don't have to go out anywhere. Yeah, exactly. You can stay inside and do something. So remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all those things, and have a good one. See ya. Bye. Thanks for watching Dan and Sarah Makers. We hope this video inspired you to get out there and do something. Yeah. Or get in there and do something, or stay in there and do something. What? Wait. Oh, yeah. Our slogan doesn't work anymore.
<laughs> Thanks for watching Dan and Sarah Makers. We hope these videos inspire you to get back inside and do something. Exactly. <laughs> Go ahead, try something. takes. Awesome. <laughs> Want to try it one more time? Ready? We'll both say thanks for watching Dan and Sarah Makers. <laughs> All right. Why do we get really goofy when we're doing these videos together? Because everybody does. Everybody gets self-conscious. Okay. Three.